Morning guys, so pucker pickers are uh, back out. Where are we today, boss? We're in Stockport, one of our old hunting grounds where we normally do alright, so fingers crossed we're going to do alright again today. Just never know. I've just recently been reading an article uh, about yourself and your, um, your famous find, which was a breast pump. Oh, you saw it, did you? Yeah, that's right. Um, breast pump from early 1800s. <laughs> you have to do a bit of research on it. Um, we've seen one that was very similar in a museum, so I decided to contact a newspaper woman, and yeah, she went ahead with the story. She did the top five finds that I did a video of on uh, YouTube there. And I believe you've got a claim to fame, haven't you? Um, well, not not quite as, as great as yours. I mean, <laughs> mine was um, a Martin Ware Wally Bird okay. tobacco jar. I went on the Antiques Roadshow with that because of its potential value. Bought it online for 700 quid, thinking it was cold shot. Yeah. All the markings were right, everything looked absolutely bang on. So, because it was worth potentially 25 grand, I had to get it verified on the show and unfortunately it turned out to be a fake but oh. the best fake that I've ever seen so my claim to fame is me Wally Bird and your claim to fame is you're a right tit <laughs> <laughs> so we was going to do a uh, Baz V Quinny at the charity shops today so we did a Baz V Quinny at the Bowley car boot that was like two weeks ago so I think it we'll leave me bacon butty, by the way <laughs> I think we'll leave, we'll call it a Greg's round here today then. <laughs> I think we'll leave the Baz V Quinny for now to the car boots just for a couple of uh, episodes and then we will do a Baz V Quinny in the charity shop soon so keep your eyes peeled for that. Yeah, that so I'd point. sell them separately and you may, you might even get 50 quid a piece but it's all, at the end of the day, what is it, £25 profit? Yeah. It's not really worth the hassle, is it? But yeah, it's unusual that they've signed uh, both of them. Because I've got Tyson Fury's boxing glove and it's not like he's signed both of them, just one of them. Right, let's go and see what else we've got in the match from Manchester United. So, so these, because the open cast in there tells me the Victorian. I think we'll have these. But hands are missing, there's the issue. Hands missing there. Yeah, all three arms are missing as well. Yeah, that's why that's why we're not bad for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a piss in that, it would have been worth having it. That. So it's it's Buddha. As you can see, it's probably salt ball. And it's a fiver. So it's not the best quality in the world, but it's probably worth about 15 or anything. Yeah, yeah. People collect Buddhas as well, don't they? Well, they do, yeah, because they're sort of Good look out there, what have you? It's like the design of this, which is a cat. A little bit of age from the north, isn't it? A giraffe cat. Right. Well, it's just a style, isn't it? Like, yeah, I like <laughs> the, it's the, like the design of it. It's a fire we get. It does look a bit brand new. So I've just come across these global figures. You see me uh, run into a few of these last week on the car boot, but every single one of them, unfortunately, that the lady had had a little tiny bit of damage on them or something, and it's a shame because it hurts the value of them so much. Now this one, I've never come across this one before. It's six pound, and um, it's probably worth about fifteen to twenty pounds. But if you look closely, the top of his ladder's been uh, super glued back on. So shame. He'll have to stay here on the show. So this is what you call a golf ball clock, Royal Dalton, £4, probably a really good price for it but I only collect um, water for the crystal unfortunately but yeah, nice little item. Yeah. So go on boss, what's this? It's a bone, bone inlaid box, it's not big or old. Do you say bone inlaid? Bone, bone okay. bovine, bovine, so it's that there, mm -hmm. it's not ivory, I don't think it's ivory. Normally bone that we use for that type okay. of thing. And it's nicely in there, I think. Actually. That's coloured as well, that's bone. Nice. So I've got quite a nice bit of work put into that there. And it's eight quid. And it is quite it's got a bit of age to it. What's the inside look like? The inside, it's just a little little box okay. that you could use for what is it one ring, ring box um, it's hard to say what the wood is really what's kind of what is it mango wood or something like that interesting though 
I just looked how much it left on eight quid. Could you get it for it? Twenty-five, maybe. Thirty quid. So we've just left Baz inside. He's um, found some books. He has. He's buying a few books for himself to put on his shelf. They're not my uh, cup of tea books, so I let him buy them. And uh, when he comes out, we'll move on to the next shop. I just bought myself a few books from my bookshelf. I've got a 1930s Art Deco bookshelf. We know a 1930 books on it now, but now I've got some of their ships on it and stuff like that. I want uh, nature from the same area. Loads of illustrations in it. For me personally, just to look at it, they're not worth a fortune, but I'll, I'll enjoy them reading, reading them all. Uh, so I've got some more books up there. Right, right Fries, it's, it's a studio, there's sort of studio uh, glass makers. Right. Okay. Um, and sort of 1960s, 70s. They have a lot of different designers making really nice designs. Um, I think that might be a Baxter design, the blue one. Um, and it's, it's, it's a Kingfisher blue vase, which is really, really nice. It's small, good condition, but it's £50. I mean, to buy, you're looking at buying them for round about that. Yeah, maybe 60 quid. So there's no margin in it for us whatsoever. If you're a collector, obviously, you, you probably take a couple of yeah. The other one, which is the traffic light vase, which is a bit of a rarer vase, I think. But because it's damaged, it's £45. I think it's double that if it's if it's in good condition. But again, for something that's got a small chip in it, £45 is a lot of money. Yeah, true, true. Because yeah. people won't collect this stuff, they want it in mint yeah, condition. condition yeah. Because obviously the value never goes down. Mm. If it's damaged, then it affects it. I mean, I think you could do that if it's on the rim. So there wasn't much happening in Didsbury, we bought a few uh, personal items. Going to Cheadle now, we've not, not found anything up here really. Um, just a few bits for me and a few bits for you really, isn't it? Yeah, so a couple of personal items like we say, we'll still show you what we bought though. Um, but yeah, we'll go Cheadle and then see if we can find anything up there. And we've got a couple more places to go after that, so hopefully we'll find something good for us. Yeah, we wanted to find one or two things that will pay for what we've bought to get for nothing. That's it, that's the idea. Yeah, that's the buy. Alright guys, so we'll see you when we get there. We was walking past the waxologist and uh, speaking of balls, we've just found two cricket balls. Two, two carcass. Two carcass <laughs> for a pound each, so we're going to be taking that. You're bowled over, aren't you? <laughs> Can't get it off, you see. Well, is it allowed on there? Yeah, that's it. You think you'd be so big? It's awful. How can you do that? Stop, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. That's yours. Yeah, thanks for that. See you later. Let's have a look over here. A sort of pair of clothes on, clothes on okay. enamel, uh, which is Chinese or Japanese, um, and they're I think, probably lotus flowers. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the two of them, and they are priced at 50 p each. No. Oh. They're worth more than that, can I show you? Yeah, about what? Yeah, 7 50 each, maybe? Possibly. 10 to 15, I would say, easily. Okay. easily. We'll be having them put it that way. And this is a tea caddy. A, is that a fiver? Yeah. Sort of oriental pattern on it there. Copper base, copper lid, uh, brass body. Not the greatest thing in the world to be fair, but it's not bad for a fiver. I don't think there's much, much of a margin in it for us though. You yeah. need to pull that out and have a look at it. And get it alright, yeah. Got that look, and it? You know, I like the design of it for one. Okay. Looks well, like um, a copper material. I think it's low. I think it's pretty synthetic. Just the shape I like, really. This has got a lovely shape. You look at it like that. Sort it's of like, like a handbag, it? almost like a handbag, but but yeah. it's it's this type of thing's in fashion at the minute. So it depends on how much that is. We need to find out the price on that one. Yeah, we've got a Noritech coffee set. 
This is nice as well, mate. This is a full set, a coffee set, by the looks of it. It's Noritak, the Japanese, mm -hmm. gilded or what have you. I don't know how much the set is. But it's nice to see a full set. You very rarely see full sets. We've got six coffee cups. Got five or six sauces there. You've got the cream jug. Two pounds. All right, thank you. You've got that there. You've got the um, you've got the cream jug as well. A set of fifteen pieces, fifteen quid. So that's a pound each. It's not bad, is it? Really? It's not bad. It's all about the pattern. I mean, but the pattern and the gilding. It's really nice quality. Condition's pretty really good. They're not tough. They look, I think they've been, they've been in the display cabinet and never used, you can tell. Really, like, really, really nice quality. Yeah, happy with them, mate. Yeah. Can we just leave these things here while we're looking around? Thank you. Oh yeah, is it, can we look in the cabinet please? Yes, yes. Is it is open? Yeah. Right, brilliant. Yeah, yeah let's look at these mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Not much either. See that? That doesn't belong to these are older than that. These are older than that. The next book's short, yeah. It's just four quid. It's just four quid. Have you been given? Um, yeah. yeah. I'm saying from the 1920s. I think they probably are, yeah. I think they're quite like 50 quid for a few years. We've got some more. We've got the half moon specs here. We're having those as well. Yeah. They're four quid. Have those as well. Yeah, we'll have those ones as well. Definitely. Oh, yeah, right. okay. yeah, not How's it bad. Yeah, not bad. Right, right. Yeah, not bad. What's Spend this? a few quid. It's a program, mate. All oh, right. It's camera. You filming. recording? Uh, yeah, just doing a bit of filming. Fair enough. Stuff. What's it for? Uh, just for YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, YouTube. Pucker pickers. Check out pucker pickers. Oh, nice. Just doing it for a bit of fun. You're gonna post it on your channel. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what we, do. we do. Um, car boots. Oh, it's me. What's yeah. right. the channel? Pucker Pickers, it's got P U W K A Pickers. That's so what we film it while we're doing it because yeah. you're doing it anyway, so it just makes it. Fair enough. Makes People it like deal. to watch that, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's a yeah. For everything. Absolutely. I'm going to be on film then. Yeah, and advertising. This is, this, is a, this is a cracking <laughs> shop, by the way. You should come and visit it. It's uh, Bernardo's mm -hmm. in Cheadle. This is Hassan, the manager, who is very helpful. And there's some fantastic bargains in here, so get yourselves off to Cheadle at weekend. They're open seven days a week, and pick up a bargain. Yeah, get a free advertising. Thank you. Buy, yeah. Thanks for that. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> My camera's playing up now. I think I've run out of battery. Oh, I, I didn't get that. Did you get that? Yeah. See, Claire, I think we've had a bit of a result in there. Spent around thirty-four pound. Uh, the tea set alone's worth. 100, around 100 quid. 100 quid. It's a full set, you don't find a full set as a rule. And that is a really nice quality full set of Noritak coffee set. So it's six cups, six sauces, milk jug, a sugar bowl, and coffee pot, all in immaculate condition for 15 quid. So we'll laugh in there. We'll, we'll catch our list for you. Not every day you see that. You get a bit of entertainment on this show as well. <laughs> I've got a place spot us out there, get on this. That's an Everest train, that's it. Yeah. So that's an AP30. Could be an AP30, yeah. Cheese grater is a guitar. It's not like it is, remember to not go like that when you think it's a lot of plug in. I don't remember putting any tomato sauce on my cheese sandwich, what's going on? Mickey one. Oh, it's not a lot Mickey, that's just that's really. That's 1950s. Mm -hmm. That's worth pounds. It's not so expensive. It's ten pounds here. It's worth having a pop. It's about thirty to forty quid. Nice. As it, st yeah, as it stands, I need to get the glass out. Yeah. Well, that's set. Well, I'll start with the Mickey. So we've got a Mickey from the 1950s, I would say. This was made in Japan, which is all right because most of the stuff was. 
Mickey right, Mouse, the it's it's plastic right. Really nice. That's the original one, but it's a tenner. That's it cool shit, it's 1950 this. Oh, boy, quid, so it's ten pounds. The condition's really good, isn't it, as well? Oh, it says that on the back, Walt Disney Productions, which is a very good song. Yeah. yeah, so we'll have that. These ones are more modern, aren't they? Um, yeah, so I want that. Uh, these, uh, these are this is McDonald's made in China. Yeah, that was like the McDonald's one as well. You could just tell. And that other one here, this one, I was just going to open beneath it. It's £7.50. This is made in Japan. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's old as well, isn't it? Not old, Not old but. Old, but this is this made in Japan. Space. It's got to be from my like, 80s. I think so, I think it might be earlier to be honest, I don't know. It's, it's got that look. It's got, I mean, it's got the look. It's got the look. It could be 80s, yeah. The world's best, yeah. Is that bad if you need a drill, I suppose? I know someone that does need a drill. Someone that needs drilling or needs well, a drill? Well, both actually. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, who's going to do the drilling? No. <laughs> What's that, mate? Can we open machine? Oh. Yeah, for the mics. Oh, X Factor. There's the mics there. Yeah. The mics on as well. Yeah, so we've got that one. Yeah, I'm going to have to get that one. Yeah. Some kind of a charger, it's a battery charger, isn't it? Yeah, you're looking at like 100 quid for that. Seriously? How mm. much is it? Oh, I don't know, it's there. Yeah, so it's a battery charger. Oh, it's got a battery charger. Yeah, it's got a battery charger. 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 It's got a battery Oh, the prices keep coming off. Yeah. Oh, right, is that what's happened? I, I did look everywhere. But it, yeah, no, it's like it, the they don't stick it. very well. Uh, no, they, but it being warm, yeah, they come off easy. £15 for that. Uh, right, OK. Um, we'll be having a sing along then if they can <laughs> get one off of that. Yeah, yeah. the mic, yeah. Doing yeah. that, so. <laughs> Worst case scenario, we can apply for X Factor. Yeah, we'll plug it in next time we do a show, it does. <laughs> we'll both be on the mic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's just in. Yeah, not bad. Um, Reseller wise, so I don't know. I've yeah, seen that. them at about 100 to 120, but it's slightly so different. So it's a top, model, it's so. top make, is it? That one? Yeah, it seems so. I've never heard and of it. And then with this drill, obviously, it's it's uh, for uh, yours truly uh, for doing odd jobs. And I've, I've just made it off of my own back because that means I'm going to be even busier at weekend now. And demand that, sir. Yeah. So you like, you like, you like these, don't you? These uh, babushkas. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Oh, Xbox, it's, it's alright, isn't it? Shame it's not a PlayStation. Well, these are them fidget things, aren't they? That's cool. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. Cart screw battle of them. Oh, yes, yes. That is pretty cool, alright, that, yeah. Oh, this thing there. And it is. Made in England. It's pretty cool. I don't know, not okay. It's pound grab, isn't it? Not it's it's all right, yeah. It is sweet, yeah, it is sweet. I thought it was a pen, I must stuck it for a pen. I thought it was a pen. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that's a good one, I know. What do you reckon? You have to adjust it, obviously, to your finger. You better off looking at that for arms. If you pull it in and out, it yeah. is. Oh, I like that, yeah. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it's good. Are you taking that? Yeah, uh, let me just have a little one. What's, in, what's that saying up there? Let's look at Make or something. Yeah, that's, that's what's written on the uh, tag. Van that, yeah. Do you want me to take the price off your hat, sir? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that fits. <laughs> let's check to, um, Van Cote. I think it's just cool anyway. No, I like it. It's, it's one of those things, isn't it? You can catch the pocket thing. Novelty item as well. Yeah. It's when you're doing your spy work, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh, good. I like that, though. I think that's it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. It's actually crystal clear still, isn't it? No, I, li I liked it because you could just focus in and out with it that easily. So. Yeah. It's a pity you've only got one. I'd have had one of them as well. <laughs> a bit disappointed. I wish we could choose what we're getting. Yeah. <laughs> 
At least you know what to look out for for him next time. Right, yeah. Yeah, I've done all right, thank nice you. See you. See you again, yeah. Yeah, so we've had a bit of a wacky day today. Um, but quite a lot of stuff for like personal stuff for ourselves. As you can see, Baz is walking around with a drill. I think he's going to be doing some handyman work at his missus's. Um, yeah, destroy it yourself. <laughs> we've got some stuff to resell as well. Um, if we don't show them right now, I'll go through some stuff when I get home anyway and show you. We did find, I don't think I got this on camera. Uh, this is a nice little item to be honest, it is. I've lost the uh, piece of paper that was with it, but it's a Vancor, it looks like a pen doesn't it? But it's actually a vintage telescope. Don't know if you can see through here, but we'll give it a go. Don't know if you got anything there. But yeah, cool little thing, disguised as a pen. Comes out. Obviously, depending on your eyesight, it depends how far you need to pull this out. It adjusts to your eyesight, but pretty cool. Paid ten pounds for that. I think could be worth about forty to maybe sixty pounds. So I have to do a bit of research on it, but nice item nonetheless. Yeah. Then you've got the and this was um, the karaoke machine. Well, it's not a machine. It's Magic Sing New Generation of Karaoke. It's the stand with two microphones, I'll show you. Ignore that, but so that's the stand that you plug in. Um, USB, that's the antenna for the microphones. You plug it into some speakers there and here, obviously. And there's the microphones and the remote control, so it's the full set. Um, resell, I think you're looking about 100 and. £100 to £120, paid £15 for that, and it's in the case, so. Can't gumble with that one. Uh, <laughs> Throwing the lid everywhere. Just a little scent bottle. This is for me to add to my collection. Don't know if you knew it or not, but I've got a little scent, co scent bottle collection. So there's another one. Yeah, it's when it goes cross dressing. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Three pounds for that. Not too bad. Right, it can double up as a nipple tassel, to be honest. Uh, you give away <laughs> secrets away now. <laughs> So yeah, it's been an in, it's been an interesting day one way or another because um, we've bought loads of personal items for ourselves, but also bought a few things that we can sell that will counteract that and we'll get the things that we bought for ourselves for nothing and hopefully a little bit of profit as well. So happy days and um, yeah, don't forget to smash a like and subscribe to Puffer Pickers. Yeah, and what we might do is a bit. There's quite a lot of stuff in the car to be honest. Like it's all jumbled up everywhere. So what we'll do is we'll do an after show of today's episode so we'll leave it here right now um i've shown you a couple of items and then the other stuff what we picked up we'll do an after show sometime in the near future and we'll show everything we actually got what we paid for it what it's potentially worth and uh yeah we'll see you in that show absolutely yeah.